Hey, my real estate peeps. So we've already broken down this week in real estate in the city of Windsor. Already broken it down. We're going to go in now and we're going to look at 2020. Let's go to 2021 because this is 2022. So 2021, this week, last year is right here in front of me. And I've broken down all the data. So in the city of Windsor last, last year, 2021, this week, we sold 120 houses. 120! This week, we only sold 46. It's one-third of the market. So there's a lot of realtors that are starving at the end of the day. Now, I just sold one for this week, so I got a little bit of, I got I got a couple of nickels to rub together. Don't okay. Last year, we listed of the... 120 that we sold, the average list price or the average total list was $50 million. $50 million. This week, we only listed $17 million worth of houses that we sold. We listed more than that. There's a lot of listings out there right now, a lot of choices. And last year, we had 15 that sold at or under ask. For 12.5 percent. This year we had eight that sold at or under ask for 17.39 percent. No mathematical significance between these two numbers, 17 percent and 12 percent. There's no mathematical differences really mathematically there. Last week this year we sold 64 million dollars for the houses. There were a lot of realtors driving around with Ferraris. It was easy to go buy a Ferrari because you were selling $64 million worth of real estate. By the way, this year I'm on the same track as what I was last year, which is very successful. Consistency in real estate is exceptionally important. And I'm just now doing videos and I'm seeing more response from my videos, actually. I actually have a client moving here from Kingston who's seen my videos and said, Brian, I really, really like you. Want to help you? Know, want you to help me find a house? And I will be helping him find a house when he's ready. I don't push. So back into the rest of the data. So last year at this time, we only, or this year, we only sold $21 million. Again, right on line with the concept one third of the market that we were at a year ago. So yeah, technically the market has slowed down, but let's look at average selling prices. In a average list price for what we sold this week last year was 419. Average list price this year was 383, 276. Pretty much in line. Average selling price last year was 535058 for the uh, 120 houses that we sold. This year's average selling price, 461 The reason this is so much lower than the other is we did not sell any million-dollar houses this week. None on the board. This week last year, we sold three. Actually, we sold four last year. None this year. That's why our number is less. Now, is this right in line? It absolutely, yes, it is. Is it right in line? 535, 461, $4 million houses. Absolutely, yes, right in line. No changes in the city of Windsor. Nothing to be concerned about. Everything looks good. Let's look at average overprice for what we sold this week last year. Average overprice this week last year was 115, 554, or 27.5%. So if you've seen a house and you said, gee, Brian, that would work for me, how much should my offer be? The average was 27.5% over the asking price. Because realtors were mispricing houses. This year, realtors are doing a better job of pricing houses. Average over was just 77899 because we're doing a better job of listing houses closer to their market values. It's a $500,000 house. We're listing it close to $500,000. Last year's average over was 27.5. This year's average over is just 20.3. So yes, 83% of our market is still over bid, over asking price. And the average overage is 20.3 compared to last year. That'll end it for this particular video. As you can see in the city of Windsor, there's nothing that I'm concerned about here other than the concept there's going to be some starving realtors.
everything's right in line. Everything is all mathematically. We're building a lot of wonderful inventory, so we have a lot of things to be able to choose from. Now is a great time to be looking for a great home in the city of Windsor. I just seen a beautifully stunning house on Lincoln. Now, keep in mind that one road over, um, I forget the name of that road, Gladstone. I sold the house on Gladstone in March for five seventeen, dollars and it was just a house in Gladstone that just sold this week for $400. It was listed, actually, it's right here on our list. I think it is on our list. It was listed for $199.9, and it sold for $430. I think it's on our list. Yeah, there it is, $199.9. Gladstone, $199.9, and it sold for $451. Okay. So Gladstone is a beautiful area, $450 to $517,000. I've seen a beautiful house on Lincoln, right there in the neighborhood, a little bit closer to the park, actually, one road closer to the park. And it was stunningly beautiful. I have, uh, it is so rare to find a stunningly beautiful home. It is listed at... Uh, I want to say three ninety nine nine. It will probably sell for somewhere around four hundred and sixty to four hundred eighty five thousand dollars. I do not believe it gets to five hundred thousand dollars. It would be really, really, really rare if it did. If you are looking for a beautifully stunning home in the city of Windsor, there is a beautifully stunning home in the city of Windsor on Glad on Lincoln, right by uh, Freed's, uh, right by Ottawa Street, right between Ottawa Street and Erie Street. Just beautiful location. And it will probably sell for somewhere between 460 and 485. And it is a screaming deal. It's just stunningly beautiful. The people that live there were medical professionals. They're getting ready to move to Florida, so they do want to sell their house. If you're looking for a beautifully stunning house under $500,000 in the city of Windsor, you better email me and you better call me because that one on Lincoln was beautiful and stunning. Be more than happy to go over and film it. Anyway, that's it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching, and I'll go in and do a comparison to the year prior and send that to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.